and bring in Yalisa Vedayasko, who also goes by Lisa. She's a Ukrainian member of parliament for President Zelensky's Servant of the People Party. Lisa, thank you so much for joining us. I want to first start off by asking about Russia seizing control of that nuclear power plant. President Zelensky described the attack as, quote, nuclear terrorism. What's your reaction to what happened? And also, what more can you tell us about the situation there right now? I understand. I believe that you're in Kiev. How are you doing? Well, you know, we again didn't sleep this night because we were following the news uh, from Zaporizhia, a nuclear plant, and this is the first ever case when uh, a country aggressor targeted nuclear plant uh, power and uh, power station. And this is definitely a, a crime, a war crime. And uh, we are screaming to all the world, please, let's let's impose no-fly zone right now. We understand that there could be some concerns about that, but there'll be more and more victims because Putin is targeting different objects, including like nuclear plants. And then there'll be like hundreds, thousands uh, of, of victims, of killed people, of refugees. And if we don't do it right now, if we don't stop it, it's going to get worse. Me personally, I left uh, Kiev uh, a couple of days ago uh, because it was not possible to work there with the, all the explosions and with the sitting in the shelter without internet. So I'm, I'm moving from one place to another. Um, but also no one feels safe. But we, are keep, work, we keep our work. Right now, uh, we have online committees. We address different parliaments. Uh, mm. abroad. Uh, we also had the physical gathering recently. But of course, uh, security concern is always here. Um, but what can we do? It's not safe in our country anymore because it's a real war. Mm, absolutely. And, and just, I mean, amazing to hear about this work that you're keeping up under these circumstances. Um, now, we saw Kherson in the south become the first major Ukrainian city to fall under Russian control. And yesterday, as we mentioned moments ago, France's President Macron said he believes, quote, the worst is yet to come following his conversation with President Putin. Do you agree with that assessment? And what are you, what is parliament, what is your party, President Zelensky, thinking right now about, about what could happen next? Well, we expect more victims and more, uh, more attacks, unfortunately because we see that there is no decrease in, uh, in this war. Uh, Putin uh, didn't uh, bring his troops back. The, he's actually only adding more and more, attacking more and more civilians. So we know that the next days will be very hard. Honestly, it's hard to maintain, of course, um, uh, let's say, sp the peaceful approach and, and some uh, peace mm -hmm. inside, because uh, every family already has so much pain. Many homes are ruined. Many people left their houses and they don't know if they're going to come back or if there is that building or apartment actually uh, available and not destroyed anymore. Uh, so many tears from many people I know. Mm -hmm. um, it's very hard right now. Oh, absolutely. Lisa, you mentioned how hard it is to, to keep an inner peace right now. Do you think there is any hope? Do you still hold hope for a, a peaceful resolution, ultimately a diplomatic resolution? And, and if the answer to that is no, then what does that mean? Well, of course, there is a hope. But uh, also there is an, no illusion. Mm. Uh, we see that the two rounds of negotiations didn't bring any results yet. And the only humanitarian corridor that we really need to evacuate children and, and people in, in that cities, in that areas, they don't have even access to medical care or to water or to food. But this is something very small. We see that attacks... Uh, keep going and going, killing more and more people. So uh, I think un until there is no fly zone, until uh, someone in Putin's surrounding mm. doesn't stop Putin or at least says to him, OK, let's take a break. It's it's already too much. Um, we don't have illusions. Mm. 
That's already too much. Lisa, thank you for joining us. Thank you for your time. As you mentioned, you're keeping up quite a bit of work while just trying to stay safe. We are thinking of you. We are all in awe of the Ukrainian people, and we really appreciate your time right now. We'll be checking in with you. Stay safe. Thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.